Planarians are extraordinary animals. Capable of reproducing asexually, a single animal can clone itself into thousands. A key source of such remarkable capacity for regeneration is to be found in a population of adult pluripotent stem cells known as neoblasts. The existence of neoblasts has been known for more than 100 years, and in the past 20 years or so, they have received a great deal of attention by stem cell biologists, particularly those neoblasts found in the species Schmittea mediterranea. We know, for example, that neoblasts are broadly distributed across the planarian body plan, that they express the argonaut family member PW1. We also know that they are the only cells capable of undergoing cell division in the asexually reproducing S. mediterranea, and that they are capable of producing all progenitor cells responsible for maintaining and regenerating all cell types in the animal. More recently, Based on gene expression profiles, neoblasts have been catalogued into three major cell types referred to as sigma, gamma, and zeta neoblasts. We also know that with rare frequency, a single transplanted neoblast can rescue a lethally irradiated planarian host. These neoblasts are referred to as clonogenic neoblasts, or C neoblasts for short. Even though we now have functional and molecular definitions for neoblasts, it has not been possible to overcome the conceptual dichotomy of which class of neoblast is the pluripotent stem cell. Here, we sought to resolve this problem. First, we took advantage of both PV1 gene expression and PV1 protein levels to quantitatively identify and define a subset of stem cells possessing the highest amounts of this transcript and protein. By performing single cell sequencing in the PV1 high stem cell population, we identify 12 possible subtypes of PV high neoblasts, which we term NB1 through NB12. Of these, NB1 through NB7 appear to have the highest levels of PV1 expression, with cluster NB2 encompassing what appeared to be a previously uncharacterized type of neoblast. Based on pseudotime and time course analysis, we hypothesize that the NB2 cell cluster may represent the most primitive and pluripotent type of neoblast. This and other lines of evidence prompted us to identify membrane-associated proteins in the NB2 cells to attempt the prospective purification of these cells. We identified a tetraspanning homologue, which we call tetraspanning 1 or TSPAN1, as being highly represented in NB2. By developing an antibody against tetraspanin-1, we were able to detect cells displaying this protein on their cell surfaces and to purify them via fluorescent activated cell sorting. Interestingly, we found these live tetraspanin-1 positive cells to display very active cellular processes, particularly extensions of their cytoplasmic membrane. We then performed single cell injections using these fluorescently labeled live cells into hosts devoid of stem cells. We demonstrated that the injected single tetraspanin-1 positive cell proliferated and clonally expanded in their hosts. Importantly, we found that transplantation of single tetraspanin-1 positive cells successfully rescued lethally irradiated animals at an unprecedented frequency of 25%. When compared to past efforts in which less than 1% of injected animals were successfully rescued, our efforts yielded a 30-fold increase in rescue efficiency. Therefore, we have demonstrated that tetraspanning one positive cells are clonogenic, and that they are a relatively small subset of sigma-class neoblasts. In performing the first prospective isolation of an adult pluripotent stem cell, we have effectively bridged the conceptual dichotomy that existed between functionally and molecularly defined neoblasts that had persisted in the field. The ability to prospectively isolate the pluripotent adult stem cells of planarians opens entirely new doors to both study mechanisms governing in vivo pluripotency in adults and to better understand regeneration in animals.